What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about everything you need to know before watching Dragon's Rising Season 2 Part 2. So let's talk about this. Now yes, even though Season 2 Part 2 was leaked early in July, and most people have saw it, some Dragon's fans have not seen it, so this video is for you, and maybe people who have seen this video, but this video is of course a guide for everything you need to know before watching Season 2 Part 2. So, without further ado, let's begin. Now, before, of course, watching Season 2 Part 2, you, of course, need to watch all of the episodes from Season 2 Part 1. That way, you, of course, got caught up with it. Also, you also need to watch the Wildfire shorts, just how she changed her design from Part 1 to Part 2. Now, Part 2 is a tournament-based season, which Doc Wyatt, of course, confirmed over on Comic-Con, and this season is heavily based on the Tournament of Elements, which is highly regarded by Ninjago fans as the best season ever. So it makes sense to have Part 2 be a tournament season, where the ninjas have to go and compete in the Tournament of the Sources, which is, in fact, the first tournament ever, not the Tournament of Elements, because Chen made a copycat version of the Tournament of the Sources. So basically, the Tournament of the Sources was the first elemental tournament ever before, you know, the Tournament of Elements and other copycats in the future timeline of Ninjago. And yeah, most importantly, we're also going to see a lot of brand new elemental masters and some old elemental masters as well. Considering that this is, of course, a tournament-based season, they're, of course, going to bring a lot of old elemental masters and brand new elemental masters with brand new powers which we of course saw in one of the trailers that we saw a bunch of new elemental masters showing their new elemental powers, including old ones such as Mr. Pale and Tox. Now, most importantly, that we of course get to see the rest of the Forbidden Five, Kai and Bonzo being stuck in Nether Space, and of course getting freed, and of course the huge battle between Jay versus Nia, which I'm not going to spoil a lot, but if you have seen the episode, then you would probably know what I'm talking about. And basically, the whole ending was kind of surprising that will, of course, connect into Season 3, Part 1, coming in, I think, April of 2025. So, yeah. And also, what about the sets? Well, they, of course, brought some summer sets to coexist with the whole tournament theme season. So, they, of course, got some tournament sets, which they were, of course, on shelves since August. And you can now purchase any set. But I highly recommend, if you want to get all of the Tournament minifigures, I highly recommend just getting the Tournament Temple City and the Tournament Battle Arena to get all 9 ninjas in their Tournament outfits. So, yeah. But, if you don't want to go that expensive, you can buy other cheaper Ninjago sets from the Tournament Wave of sets. But, yeah, that's everything you need to know before watching Season 2 Part 2. I hope this guide would, of course, help you a lot before watching Season 2 Part 2 officially when it drops on Netflix only on October 3rd, 2024. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications whenever I post a brand new video. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!